Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be covering Fluwanderees, a great anti-meta deck in the current Master Duel format. I like to keep my videos short and to the point, so let's get into it straight away. These four Fluwanderees monsters are your main engine. They have a lot of text on the cards, so let's make it easy by covering what they all have in common before we go into specifics. 1. If they leave the field, they are banished. 2. When they are normal summoned, they have an effect that lets you normal summon again. 3. If they are banished, you can add them back to your hand when you normal summon another monster. To get the extra normal summon from effect number 2, you do need a bonus effect that triggers when your monsters are summoned to successfully go off. These bonus effects are the following. Eglin lets you add a level 7 or higher winged beast from your deck to your hand. Robina lets you add a level 4 or lower. Strix lets you banish a card in a graveyard. Talkin lets you add a banished Fluwanderees card to your hand. You can see to get the additional summon with Robina, and Eglin is quite easy, but Token and Stree need some additional setup. This is why most decks run three copies of Eglin and Robina, but fewer copies of the other two. With your additional normal summons and fetches, you want to make your way into Apex Avian, Ryza, and Empen. Empen lets you add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand when summoned, and has the additional normal summon built into it just like the other Fluwanderees. Empen stops special summoned attack position monsters from activating their effects. Empen also has a combat trick where you can banish a card from hand to half your opponent's monster's attack. Raiza can be tribute summoned by tributing your Empen instead of two monsters, usually with Empen's additional summon. Raiza, when summoned, lets you bounce a card from the field and graveyard to the top of the opponent's deck. Also, since Empen is a wind monster, you also get to bounce an additional card to the hand. Finally, Apex Avian is a negation engine. It lets you bounce itself back to the hand to negate any activated card or effect. The deck runs three spells, Fluwanderees and the Magnificent Map, Fluwanderees and the Unexplored Winds, and finally, Fluwanderees and the Advent of Adventure. Magnificent Map is your field spell. It lets you reveal one of your level one cards to banish a different Fluwanderees from the deck, you then immediately normal summon the revealed card. So this is sort of like a double summon on a field spell. Then, when this is on the field and your opponent normal summons a card, you get to also normal summon a Fluwanderees from your hand, which will of course trigger all its additional summons, searches, and adding effects. So you can easily go into a Raiza or Apex Avian during their turn. Unexplored Winds lets you use any card your opponent controls as a tribute for your boss monsters, effectively lowering the tribute cost to just one card, plus being able to spot remove a problematic card. In the main phase, if you have too many same-name Fluwanderees in your hand, you can put up to two on the bottom of the deck to then draw that many cards. Because a lot of the effects are once per turn, it's great to get rid of additional copies of monsters to draw new cards. Advent of Adventure is a search card that lets you add a Fluwanderees from your deck to your hand by banishing one of your face-up monsters. This is great to play around things like Effect Veiler or even Infinite Impermanence. Finally, we have one trap card, Fluwanderees and the Dreaming Town. This trap lets you normal summon a card on activation. So again, a great card to get a normal summon chain going in your opponent's turn. Also, if this card is in your graveyard and you tribute summon a level 7 or higher monster, you can banish this card and put all your opponent's monsters in face-down defense position. The extra deck is rarely utilized, but I suppose getting some copies of Codebreaker Virus Swordsman is neat to break a Baguska board. Also, Kikinagashi is unaffected by card effects, and if you remove two materials off it, it cannot be destroyed. It is important to remember that Eglin's search effect is the most important. Getting to Apex Avian and the other boss monsters is paramount to the deck's success. Without these, you have no disruption. So when you do summon Eglin, try and chain effects in a way that Eglin is the earlier chain link. This way your opponent cannot ash blossom the effect. The same goes for Robina because this card can search for DD Crow, which is particularly useful against tier laments. Why? Check out my tier lament video for more information. And that concludes the guide for our winged friends. 
Just watch this video a few times and you should be able to memorize all the effects to be able to play Fluwanderees at a competitive level in no time. If this video was useful to you, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up the video and turn on that notification bell. Also, if you love my content, you can always consider becoming a channel member to help out with the financial side of running things. I'll start a member's credits page at the end of my videos soon. Either way, I hope the video helped you and thank you so much for sticking around until the end. While you are here, why not check out these videos?